it's that lake monster guy. Uh, today, I looked at YouTube, and I have 10 subscribers. I honestly didn't think that people even watched my videos, let alone subscribe to me. So I wanted to say thank you to all 10 of you. That is cool. Uh, today's video is about metal detecting shows. And I don't know if you're a member of a club or anything like that. It really doesn't matter. Metal detecting shows usually happen state by state. Sometimes several times a year, sometimes only one. Well, in Texas, the the big one is one time a year, and it moves around the state. Luckily, mine was 50 miles away. And you're probably saying, hey, Lake, um, why go to the metal detecting show? You know, I can get all my stuff on the Internet. Well, you know, it supports your clubs. The other thing you can uh, do is get stuff cheaper. We'll talk about that later. You can meet people. And you're probably going, why did you meet them? Um, some of you, anyway. Um Let's get into why you should go to the metal detecting show. One, free stuff. Okay, number one, you walk in through the door. There's a rack with bags like this and bags like that and probably some other bags that I didn't get. Now, they're not like expensive bags, but they're like shopping bags, frog tog material. Um, let's get on to the stuff that not so cheap. Okay, that hat, you either have to do one of two things, buy a metal detector or buy the hat. Not, not at the metal detecting show. Free hat. All right. That's what? $10.99, $12.99, $14.99, depending on who you're talking to. All right. Some of this stuff is kind of cheapish, you know, cheaper stuff. You got a free bumper sticker, keychain, a uh, little 39 inch tape measure from Garrett. All these are Garrett, AT Pro Patch, another AT Pro Patch, Search Team Garrett, and picked up another one from a buddy and for a buddy. It wasn't able to make it. Uh, here's a lanyard. Garrett, uh, 50 year anniversary. Um, sometimes you get to meet people. And if you are a hardcore metal detectorist, you know who these guys are. Okay, King George and Ringmaster from National Geographic's Diggers and part of Team Garrett. Okay, we'll talk about some of these guys. Oh, also today there was Nugget Noggin. Uh, if you don't know who Nugget Noggin is, you need to go ahead and subscribe to him on YouTube. Nugget, as in. A gold nugget, noggin, as in your head. So anyway, this young man does some really great videos. If you haven't seen him, you're been under a rock maybe. But check him out, subscribe, do that. Um, these two guys, you know, they're kind of controversial. Uh, some people go, you know, they have antics on their show and whatnot. But let's face it, if you were to watch 30 minutes or an hour worth of metal detecting, it'd be kind of like watching golf. Now, some people like to watch golf. I like to play golf, but I hate watching. So... Me, if you were to take and watch me metal detect just straight unedited for an hour, you'd be nodding off. So it's Hollywood. These two guys uh, met them, had a picture taken with them. They signed me a nice little picture and autograph here. And uh, they're actually pretty pretty laid back dudes. Uh, wouldn't mind doing a little metal detecting with them and, you know, kicking back a few beers. They're just decent dudes. So that's it. Nugget Noggin and the celebrities from National Geographic were there. And they uh, had seminars. Let's see if we can get back in focus. Anyway, the other thing, moving on, vendors. Vendors at shows can verbally give you a price below map. There we go. I want to pull out. Okay, hey, that's better. Uh, MAP is a manufactured agreed pricing. Now, that's something you sign with a um, wholesaler or a manufacturer saying, I will not advertise a price less than X. So that's why when you go online and you see the same prices at every dealer, that's because that's the lowest they can advertise. Or sometimes they'll say call or add to cart for a lower price. Well, when you're at the show, they go, oh, hold on a second. You know, the price tag is on the box. Uh, let me get you our show special price. And they go ahead and give you a dis discounted price. Uh, so today I got... Uh, be a new 13 inch ultimate D Tech coil for my V3i. So that I got it like 185 bucks, something like that. Got me a new um, strap because mine's wearing out for my arm cuff, and I just dropped it. Let me grab it. Ah, something I hadn't seen before. This clips onto a belt. And your shovel, your relic shovel, snaps into that. So you've got one of those short ones. I'm going to be ending up modifying mine here soon. And it's going to 
I'm going to do another video on gear. Um, I've totally revamped how I'm going about rigging up when I go out to metal detect. And I'm switched over to a Molly system, which is what the military is using for their load bearing equipment. And I've got the winter version and the summer version. And it all switches over real easy. Um, I like multitasking. So I'm switching over to Molly instead of tool belts and things like that. Anyway, if you haven't gone to a metal detecting show and you're like, eh, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Uh, you're supporting the hobby. You get free swag. And you meet people, whether you want to or not. And you get better prices. And also, if you're like looking on the internet, like, ooh, what is this? Do I want one of these? Hmm, I can't tell. I don't have it in my hand. You get to put it in your hand. Um, you also have raffles and stuff like that. You can enter. There's a chance you can win a $700 metal detector for a dollar. You know, if you like playing the raffle game. So, do yourself a favor. Uh, check out your state's metal detecting show. Usually there's an organization. Mine is the Texas Association of Metal Detecting Clubs. And they can be found at tamdc.org. And you can also, through them, find a local club if you want to join. All right, that's enough for that for today. Uh, my next video will be on Molly Gear and how I trick it out for metal detecting. And we'll see you then. And thank you guys for subscribing.